Facebook has suspended a fact-checking operation in Australia to moderate content on its platform. After the Sky News Australia investigation uncovered a secret foreign-funded bid to influence the upcoming voice referendum, the powerful RMIT Fact Lab operation, which is paid up to $740,000 a year by Meta, will be barred from deciding what's right and wrong on social media as it investigates Meta and the international fact-checking operation. Sky News Australia's investigation, the fact check files, has revealed that Russell Skelton, the university's fact checking director, was campaigning for the voice and reposting slogans and s created by Labour Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Linda Burney. Skelton's team was responsible for many misleading information checks against Sky News Australia. That led to censorship of journalism regarding the voice referendum. A Meta spokesperson told Sky News Australia that allegations contained in the fact-checking files led to decision to remove RMIT from its global fact-check operation. The International Fact-Checking Network requires participating organizations to demonstrate a commitment to impartiality and fairness, Meta said. IFCN will decide whether to reinstate RMIT Fact Lab's expired certification. Considering both nature of allegations against RMIT and upcoming referendum, we have decided to remove RMIT from our fact-checking program until IFCN's decision. We are committed to stopping the spread of misinformation about our services and continuing to partner with the AAP and AFP in Australia. Russell Skelton, director of RMIT Fact Lab, campaigns for voice despite adhering to strict neutrality rules. While Meta is responsible for payments to RMIT, the tech giant has not endorsed any efforts that needlessly target one side of the referendum debate. This claim played a major factor in Meta's decision to remove RMIT Fact Lab from its internal systems. The decision to remove RMIT from its global verification operation means RMIT must demonstrate that it can abide by the strict rules of principles Meta has promised to govern fact checking on the platform. The fact checks by RMIT took place while the university was working with expired fact check credentials. The operation had the authority to censor journalism on Facebook for more than eight months, even though its certification had expired. Another RMIT affirmative, Renee Davidson, on her personal social media account has labeled opposition leader Peter Dutton as a fearmongering racist, putting university in danger of violating the neutrality clauses in IFCN Code of Principles. RMIT confirmer Rene Davidson shared content that labeled coalitions Peter Dutton a fearmongering racist. The verification operation is also the IFCN Code of Principles 2.2 which does not allow information verification operations to unnecessarily focus on one side of the political debate. It may also be violating the section. An audit of RMIT Voices fact checks showed that all 17 Voice C.